there. I'd like to share with you today my approach to tuning drums. This may be of interest to you if you're a beginner, you don't know where to start, if you're a professional, you might find this interesting as well. Over the years I've developed this scheme where I tune my drums to notes. People have asked me, you know, if you had to choose just one general tuning scheme for your drum kit, what would it be and how do I tune my drums like that? Well, I've put together this sheet for you. It's downloadable from sticksandstaves.com. For this tuning method, we need to establish the top head note, the bottom head note, and the overall fundamental note of the drum. This is my general tuning scheme for a fusion sized drum kit where there's a 10 inch tom, 12 inch tom, 14 inch tom and of course a 14 inch snare. The fundamental tuning notes for this scheme comprise of E flat on the 10 inch tom, B flat on the 12 inch tom and F on the 14 inch tom. And I've chosen an A flat 3 for the snare drum itself. A lot of players find that a popular tension. You may notice the toms have a slightly tighter bottom head. This gives the drum a rounder tone, longer sustain and more resonance. Some people like to have a tighter top head but it's up to the individual. For my jazz tuning scheme I've decided to ditch the 10 inch tom. We'll just go with a traditional four piece kit with a 12 inch tom on the top of the bass drum and the 14 inch tom on the floor. is tuned to a G3, the 12 inch tom is tuned to an F3, and the floor tom is tuned to a B2. You might notice on this jazz tuning scheme the toms are tuned to one size higher than the general scheme. There is also an equal tension top and bottom head which gives the drum a shorter sustain and more of a ping sound that's really desirable in jazz music. What we've got here, the fundamental note, it's a B flat, which is that. Um, we need to take it up to an F3, which is going to be up there. Um, to do that, we sit it on a towel, or I've got a padded chair here. Um, so we're going to tap on that head, it's a completely different note. So we're going to make both top and bottom heads tuned to E flat 3. And E flat 3 is just above middle C here. At the moment, it's I think it's a G. So hum that note to yourself. And keep turning. You tap close to the edge nowhere near. Um, what we do is just go around the drum. You don't need to tension it because it's already tensioned. We're just fine tuning here. Oh, we're close. We're really close. So that's about it. That one's a bit under. This one knee flat as well. Make sure you tap right near the edge of the shell so you can hear that tone. That's about it. Now I'm using a piano here. You can also use any electronic tuner or other instrument like a guitar or something. That one's a bit under. That one's a bit over. Okay, now if I turn this up and strike it suspended, we should have our F. Now it's a little bit too tight. So I'm just gonna take down a 
tad on the top. All right. So it's kind of like tuning a timpani. If you've had any experience tuning timpani. You have to get all these the same tension all the way around. And use your ear to compare to a note. Okay, we're done. That is tuned to a jazz note. Just continue with all the other drums on your kit. It doesn't take that long. And it's fun. Of course, these tunings are just there for a guide and somewhere to start. You might find your own ways of tuning your drums that you find desirable. Have fun, experiment, and find a sound that really resonates with you.